big is this one for you guys, considering who you didn't have? Oh, uh, it's a big one. You know, it's hard to win this league, you know, especially with the, you know, key players. You know. But you know, we want together. You know, defensively, we were together. Offensively, we were together. Playing hard the whole game. And of course, a younger team that, you know, they fought the whole game. You guys are the number one defense pretty easily early this season. What what is it about this team right now, this mix that is working so well? Um, yeah, we're playing together. You know, we know we just for the ball, but we really got locked down defensively doing the games. Very modern, you know, he's part of everything. You know, he's an anchor to our defense. It's actually one that hands on what's up before it happens. But it very tiny see everything, you know, the part of it. How you? See and uh, appreciate the third quarter, Draymond and, and, and Curry are standing up cheering, coaching. I uh, also noticed that. Oh, sure. You know, that means a lot. You know, they're very engaged. The people that are not playing, they're engaged. You know, they're cheering for us trying to motivate us, trying to keep us going. You know, you've maintained that aggressiveness, like you said you would after that big Minnesota game. Mm-hmm. But was there any um, any additional oomph today, knowing that there that you were missing Steph and Draymond? For sure. You know, for sure. You know, that's a big part of our offense. Uh, they're a big part of what we do, so we know that though. Uh, and everyone has to be more aggressive. Everyone has to do a little bit more. You know, but can't really, you can't face those guys because as much as you can to, you know, to, to do your best and help the team. What changes in terms of how the offense operates when, when you're missing those guys? Um, you know, Steph out there, he always he's always been attracted to three, you know, defenders. You know, so it opens the floor up so much. Um, when they're not out there, you know, it's more for everyone else driving, K, you know, trying to get each other open. All right, uh, come on, Zoom real quick. Monty Poole, go ahead. Andrew, you got uh, got to the line 11 times tonight. Um, what does that signify to you? I mean, you, I know players always talk about getting the easy money. Tonight, you got there a lot. Uh, how, what did that say about what, what you were trying to do tonight? Uh, I was trying to stay aggressive. You know, and try to attack, try to attack her and get in a good groove. You know, cross the foul line early, and I felt like it helped me, you know, throughout the game. Great. All right. One more for Christos. Andrew, for you as for you guys, how big deal is to see the growth of Jordan Poole, Gar Payton, and other guys coming off the bench and uh, contribute to, to your wins? How big deal for you is this? Uh, it's big time, man. You know, those guys work so hard. You know, every day, you know, for moments like this, and, you know, they're showing you guys what they can do. They have to work hard for this, and, you know, they prepare for this, and now they're just showing the points. He's at the podium right now. Jordan, what does a night like tonight mean for you, knowing it comes in front of so many friends and family, college coach? Uh, it was huge. Uh, you know, we get a win, especially off the back of the back. Um, we fought really hard yesterday, and we were able to pull out a win against the Cavs, and, um, it kind of feels like my hometown coming back to Michigan, so it was here. Do you feel any added added motivation? Which you mean? No, that you're playing in front of, you know. Uh, it's cool. It kind of feels like a home game, essentially. Um, like I said, a lot of people that I knew in the crowd, my parents were here, uh, friends from school. So, you know, it was huge. You know, we had a little bit of a, you know, some fans on our side tonight. What's the difference for you playing when you're next to Steph, particularly when Steph's hot and you use a lot, and like tonight when, when you're kind of the primary guy out there? Um, it's kind of give, take what we're given, essentially. Um, continue to be aggressive, just fire shots. Obviously, Steph is a phenomenal player. Um, we were in our offense for him, but he was out tonight, and Draymond was out tonight, and Coach told me to be aggressive. And, uh, tonight, you need to step up. Just you know, being able to, to play my game tonight, and find my rhythm early, get everybody involved, and come with up in the way. How do you try to kind of translate that type of productivity, even if it's in smaller doses, to, to when you're playing next to step? Just keep playing the same way that I have been. I mean, I don't think there's anything different. I mean, just step us not there. Um, there was a few more shots, but I, mean, I feel like I've been playing fine, and we're the number two in the beats. It's so other stuff that we need to fix, but um, well, what do you think about your shot early in the season? Obviously, the percentage of kind of wax and weight, I think you're coming in around 28. This is where are you at right now with your shot? I shot 50 tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's all it is because it's a new day. Keep pushing. 
Oh, oh no, ten, look, ten tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Fifty percent tonight. How about Wiggins next year? Tonight? Huge, huge. Be number. Um, I think Steph was out last year. Steph and Draymond might have been out against our. Or Draymond was going to be playing Memphis last year. Kind of was the same feeling. Uh, just get him going early. Try to get him easy shots. Uh, he's a he's a big mismatch for a lot of people. So um, he stepped up huge tonight. Um, we able to play for him. It's good to get him going. We got to find a way to. To continue on with it. Kind of your points tonight. We're at the rim, overshot blockers around there. Where have you improved as a finisher in the league in your first few years? What do you mean? How have you, you know, and let's say rookie Jordan Poole compared to third year Jordan Poole, what, where are you a better finisher? I was just practice. I would do the same thing. I thought the same thing. Get into my spots. And- so it comes with taking that's pretty well. Steve mentioned the name of the carrying the team uh, about uh, staff and Draymond there. Yeah, Jordan was great. Uh, just carried us tonight offensively. He had wicks, uh, both um, were huge. Uh, and really proud of Jordan. You know, he struggled the last few games, and uh, he knew we needed his, his offense tonight. He, he was locked in right from the beginning. Obviously, you guys are undermanned, but this is also a bit of a homecoming for him, right? He went to college mm-hmm. here, grew up in Milwaukee. Did you get a sense that that was any sort of importance to him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, his parents here, you know, his college coaches are coaching with Detroit. And, uh, so one trip a year here. So it was a big night for him. And, Great to see him play so well. As a rookie, he really kind of struggled at the rim. Uh, a little bit better last year. Like, you know, you see it tonight. He's I mean, finished in all different yeah. ways. How and where have you seen him improve there? I think he's physically stronger. I think he's just able to absorb more contact. Uh, he's just got more confidence. You know, uh, think about his first year, like two years ago, if he had a you know, clear lane to the rim. Uh, he could dunk the ball, but uh, looks like he's, you know, getting up six inches higher now. Like he's just athletically, I think, much improved from two years ago. So he's just that extra power and bounce uh, is really paying off at the rim. He, he obviously had a big night tonight. He had a big night earlier when Steph was kind of was under the weather. How do you think you guys can get him going better with you know Steph is also having this. Uh, he just has to keep doing what he's doing, you know, uh, being aggressive but figuring out what's a good shot and what's the right play to make. And that's sometimes the hardest thing to, to figure out in this league. The game's moving so fast. And, uh, so I think his, his shot selection is really important. We're trying to teach him to be really aggressive but also really smart and kind of, you know, there's a fine line in between there sometimes. So really uh, just happy with his overall development and improvement. And um, he's going to have some uh, some down spells, and, and it's not going to be you know linear. His improvement isn't going to be linear all the time. But but uh, you know he's you look at him now compared to where he was uh, when he first got got to the league. It's night and day. So Jordan uh, deserves all the credit he's put in a ton of work. Steve, one of your uh, banged up guys this tonight. Uh, which of them do you expect to play Sunday? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we, we have tomorrow off. Uh, the guys who are injured will uh, come in and get treatment tomorrow. And, uh, and then we have a 5 o'clock game, so no shoot around Sunday. And just see how everybody's doing on Sunday. I think you guys were 1-8 and eight maybe without Steph last year. How important a win is this for you guys to do what you did without them? Uh, it's a huge win uh, to, to win without Steph, Draymond, Andre, Otto, uh, and obviously Clay and James, uh, you know, down so many guys to, to come in here and uh, and really get contributions from, from everybody. Uh, so, and it turned what would have been a, a good solid road trip into an excellent road trip to go three and one um, and, and head home in great shape um, in terms of our, our record, our positioning. Uh, just a, a fantastic win and a great job by the guys who, who uh, were here and, and active tonight. Bigger picture, have you learned anything new about this team on, on this uh, four-game road trip? Uh, I think just uh, you know, knowing that we can go out on the road and, and win games. I think we're 6-1 and one now maybe on the road. Uh, it's a great sign. Um, I think we've got guys who know how to step up when they um, – 
when they need to wait and, and Jordan, you know, knowing they had to, you know, score some points for us tonight and, and be the, the focal point offensively. Uh, they both both stepped up, did a great job. And uh, I love the playoff bench of, of uh, Chioza and Belly and uh, you know, Jonathan came in and, and 